Hold on. Okay. Let me just short it here. <laughs> I went on Instagram Live. I, had, I used one hand to type it. And I filled it. Um, I'm a degenerate. Okay, guys. So let's start. Uh, what topic do you guys want to talk about today? I guess we're going to talk about the State of the Union. So happy Thanksgiving, guys. Uh, we just, MIC, we just had a big, big sell. I think it ended yesterday, but uh, I don't really know. <laughs> um, I, I'm i the main educator at MIC, so I mean, I, I, I leave all of that stuff to other people. Uh, but uh, I hope you guys got in on this good Black Friday, Cyber Monday, guys. So I think... Um, it's still going on uh, on a more secretive side because I don't think the uh, I think the link is still up. So if if you if you're interested, guys, this may be the day to get it. You know, if you're a little late on Cyber Monday, today is the day to get in on these big discounts, guys. So um, uh, we have it opened up monthly. We opened it up for Cyber Monday and Black Friday, so that's why you see a lot of. Uh, opportunity because you know people people are not making much money nowadays guys so we instead of us trying to instead of uh, selling these big ticket items and stuff right because who, who can afford this stuff right so we we decided to open the monthly to help you guys and so and the monthly has been discounted greatly to 200 bucks a month guys so i mean i don't want to talk about this stuff but you guys all know this stuff so go to the black friday page at our website guys and um check it out so how do you make money? I'm going to do it really quickly because I don't want, I don't want to talk about stocks. I want to talk about some, um, how to basically become a day trader and keep, keep being, being sane so that you don't go crazy. Cause, uh, Nancy talked about it very greatly. How do you, how do you do it, Bell? After two decades of this stuff, I mean, I, it's very difficult mentally, guys. Uh, regardless of making money or not, if you make money, it's a little easier to keep doing it, obviously, right? But the money after a while, guys, you just go crazy. Being able to s just sit around. I mean, dude, I'm just staring at these numbers all day long. There's no social interaction. That's why we started MIC, not only to help people, but to, to, to have an outlet to talk about stocks, guys. So otherwise, I'm just going to go crazy. I mean, I've been doing this thing for so freaking long. I, it just makes me so crazy, right? And that's why... Um, that's why sometimes you see uh, a lot of traders just go nuts. They, they drink a lot. They do drugs. They do whatever they need to do. Is they self-medicate. And that's because it's a very stressful environment. Anything that deals with money and lots of money is very stressful. So even here, I'm sitting here looking at this stuff. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I, I, I am addicted to dopamine. Is that what it is? It's like, it's like going to the casino. And, and every time you win a slot machine, the lights come on. And you feel good for that brief second. The feeling for me is like maybe five seconds. I nail a trade and I'm happy for five seconds. I got that dopamine rush, right? And it, it becomes a junkie. And that's why this is, this is the problem with trading. It's, it's the instant gratification and all that. So how do you keep it going without going crazy, guys? Because the dopamine is what causes you to have FOMO. Dopamine is, 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 is the, the rush. You can't just sit around like for four hours and not make a single trade because you're, you're, you're like a junkie. Uh, you're like shaking. You know, you're like, you need that fix. You win or lose, you need to feel that thing in your belly or wherever it may be that, you know, and, and it's just really stupid, guys. And, and that's what it is. The, the more you trade, the longer you trade, it, it gets worse and worse because it's it's – you miss it. The week. That's why when the weekend comes, guys, you, you're, you're like nervous. You don't know what to do. I, I really don't know what the fuck to do during the weekends. I, I, there's only so much shit I can buy. You know, I'm running out of stuff to buy. I, I really don't need to buy anything anymore. That's why, you know, you become obsessive compulsive about certain things. So I have a, I probably have a hundred black t-shirts. I think at Black Friday, what I did was I bought like five more, seven more, just plain black t-shirts from my favorite store, which is Eddie, Eddie Power, right? Which is really cheap, dude. Um, T-shirts probably cost me like 15 bucks on sale, um, these black T-shirts, but, but I've, I've become obsessed with it, you know? Um, one thing that's kept me sane is the fact that, you know, I learned this from Mark Zuckerberg, you know? I, I wear the same black T-shirt, the same type, so I don't have any anxiety of having to pick an outfit to pick a wardrobe because you know like when you're a young man going to school you i need to have the best shirt you know matching and stuff so it's huge anxiety man huge anxiety to figure out what the fuck to wear now i open up my closet all black t-shirts all black t-shirts 
You know, once in a while I have a dress shirt, but it's also a black dress shirt. You know, it makes it easy. And because what happens is I used to buy a lot of different types of t-shirts and a lot of different shirts, guys. And I end up wearing my favorite ones over and over, the, the two or three. How often is it that you buy, you wear, like you have a wardrobe. Like girls have wardrobes and stuff, but you go back to the same favorite outfits you wear. Why not just have the same fucking outfit every fucking day? Who gives a damn what people say? You know, people, you wear the same clothes. Yeah, I wear the same clothes. I have to have like a hundred outfits of it, right? And so, so do what it takes for you to get rid of anxiety, guys. Okay. So with trading, trading is huge anxiety to begin with. Hold on, I have anxiety right now. I'm gonna play some more trades. Uh, hold on, see. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you which one, obviously, because uh, I don't want you to be a degenerate like me. But you know, and so the whole thing with trading is. You need to get rid of as much anxiety as you can, okay? Because you know what? Trading is anxiety-filled, ridden, right? So one one aspect of anxiety is, you know, the simple things you can get rid of is clothes, clothing, right? I mean, like, dude, I'm here to make money. I'm not here to be the most fashionable individual. And so if you want to save money, guys, save money by stop buying these fucking stupid Gucci bullshit and, 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 unless you really – Reward yourself after a great month of trading where you take money out of the markets. You know, just because you're up for the day doesn't mean you should go shopping because you know what? Make it a loser the next day unless you take the money out. And so for me, man, I've, I, I, I'm trying to get rid of every anxiety. That's why superstition is so, I hate superstition, man. I fucking hate it. I can't wear a red shirt because it's like I'm gonna lose money. I can't wear a green shirt because it jinxes me for making money. You know, so my brain is all screwed up. And so the the reason why people do these lucky things is because it it, it gets rid of anxiety. So so you have the feng shui, like we talked about that, guys. So look up feng shui, F E N G S H U I. That's the Chinese kind of like superstition where you're supposed to put the furniture and things like that, guys. You know, whatever it takes to ease your anxiety. If you need to freaking go jerk one off before you trade, do it. Do it. Make it a process. So for my process is if I, I need to wake up at a certain time, <laughs> I'm a very – so I all my alarm clocks – with if you see my fills are like eights, right? Eights, eight, eight, eight. It's like that's the Asian good luck number eight, right? And so I wake up at I have alarm clocks at four forty eight. Not joking. Four forty eight, five oh eight, five thirty eight. You know, I have a bunch of alarm clocks that I set up. And so whatever it may be to ease your anxiety, guys. So at the end of the day, man, how do you how do I keep going? I mean, I am a complete wreck when I lose Focus on process. Um, if you ask every successful individual, they have a routine. Okay, routine builds consistency. So you need to have a routine, guys. So trading starts the day before you even trade. You have to have a good night's sleep. Last night I fell asleep. I think at nine or ten. I took an edible. I think I just passed that the hell out. And then I woke up in a panic. At literally like 4 a.m. this morning. I'm in California, right? So I'm like, I miss work. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fuck, my alarm clock didn't go off. You know, I, I thought it was nighttime because the curtains are all closed. And, and I'm panicking. The reason I'm panicking is because my routine is not to go sleep at 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock. I, w I laid down because I was going to I'm going to lay down and I'm going to then go, you know, um, get ready for bed. But next thing you know, dude, I was so tired. I, I, I went to sleep too early. And so going to sleep too early made me panic. And so, but I woke up early. But I, And so when I woke up too early, it, it, it kind of threw me off my routine as well. So as eager as I am to trade, I need to have a consistent schedule of sleep, of whatever I need to do, guys. Because if you deviate, that's one thing that's going to affect you mentally. So how do you, this is, you know, these are things that people are never going to tell you. Okay. Success is based upon routine. Okay. You have to have a routine to become consistent. Same thing with baseball players, golfers. You notice when they step into the box to swing, they have the same routine. The same thing, uh, Curry, Steph Curry, he, he, before he threw the, uh, shoots a free throw, he checks his feet to make sure it's in the right place. He does his little hand thing to make sure his wrist is, you know, working. Not, that's not because he's gay or anything, right? <laughs> oh, he's waving some, some side girl, but, uh, but you know, so a golfer, you know, they do the practice swing. It's all about routine, guys. So if you screw up your routine, your whole, it's, it, it causes anxiety. So, so just try these little things, guys, to 
alleviate as much anxiety as you can. Uh, get as many massages as you can, whatever it may be, okay? Um, and so I'll give you an example. So out, we're doing, uh, after the sell, we, we're doing a live trading, guys, for you guys uh, next week on Tuesday. So Alex and I are going to come on uh, for a lifetime members. It's not too late, guys. Hit up Tosh. Um, hit up MIC. Uh, we'll, we'll get you in. Uh, live trading for lifetime members next week. And Alex goes, let's do it on Monday. And I'm going, oh, wait, 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 wait. Monday may not be good. It's because it's after the weekend. And I know myself, like on Sunday, I have my, my nephew's piano recital, whatever it may be on Sundays. We are the only ones. I have to wake up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. in the morning at day, day trade on Monday. You know, other people come to work at 10 Right on a Monday, and so I told Alex, "Hey, I don't, I don't want to screw up my routine, because uh, Mondays are very difficult. Because you go from the weekend, and you're trying to calm down from hanging out on the weekend, and so Monday, you know, is that's why Monday. A lot of people do very poorly on Mondays, uh, trading, because they they're still in the partying or or resting or family mindset of the weekend." And so you know these things, right, guys? So over time, you build a routine around your schedule. And so for me, I need to, I need to just take my edible, pass the hell out to make sure I don't get any distractions. Do you have my solid five hours, eight hours of sleep, whatever it may be, guys? So, you know, so routine is very important. Uh, do whatever it takes to alleviate anxiety, and then get back to business. And in these markets, let me tell you something. In these markets, guys, it, I, I tell everybody this. Markets change. We we went from a 14-year bull to most of you guys are not even in fucking you never you guys never even seen a bear market. You never seen a recession. You never seen people get laid off. You're gonna see a lot of that shit right now, guys. You're gonna see Apple guys get laid off, Facebook guys, it's already starting. I already warned everybody already that it's coming. And so the good times you need to save for the bad times. So I'm gonna post it on Twitter once again, guys, because it's been a long time since we had a recession. I call it feast. Or famine. Trading is feast or famine. Feast meaning like abundance of food. Famine is you're freaking hungry. There's no food to be had. Trading is exactly like that, guys. When you're making money, you're feasting. You're fucking doing great. So you need to save and stockpile them fucking your nuts like the chipmunk, right? The, the, they, 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 they save the fucking nuts for the winter because there's not going to be any nuts during the winter, guys. So during the times of feasting, a lot of you kids are thinking that you're going to feast forever. Same thing with crypto, man. That's, that's why I hate fucking crypto. People are going to talk about Bitcoin going to a billion dollars, a million dollars. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. It ain't going to go to a fucking million dollars, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you know? Uh, and so it's because you know, because you've never seen it go down ever because you had a 14-year bull cycle, guys. So during times, it's not too late. Start saving. Start putting your nut supply away so that when the famine time comes, you are okay, okay? And so a lot of the guys, man, they don't pay their taxes and now the taxes are due and all that shit. It's, it's okay, guys. It's a learning experience. You have to fucking get kicked in the nuts in the balls for you guys to learn, right, guys? So so we're going to we're gonna change that all around, guys. So you guys now start following me on Tuesdays, Instagram Live. I'm going to switch from talking exclusively about how to day trade stocks into life coaching because I've been there, man. I've been through three fucking bear markets, three recessions. I, I may look like a young, hot guy, but I'm a fucking old man. <laughs> I'm an experienced, mature old man. Um, and so, you know, like, so how do you survive? By being realistic, guys. You're not going to be making a million dollars a day. <laughs> you know, crypto ain't going to go to a fucking, um, crypto ain't going to fucking make you a billionaire anymore. All the crypto guys are being caught as scammers. FTX, S, that motherfucker SBF has been caught. He's not in prison. Everybody's going to fucking prison right now, guys. Okay? They're scamming everybody. And you know what, man? Uh, crypto, all the crypto exchanges are blowing up. They're all Ponzi schemes. We're all fucking positive schemes. So how do you make money? It's not too late, guys. You make money by going back to the old-fashioned way. Work fucking hard. Save your money. Work hard. There's money to be made every day. Stop being, stop thinking that you're going to win the lottery trading, okay? You can make a very fine living every day. Every day. Let me, let me show you, man. Let me show you. So this is a start for 
to get into a, some sort of like life coaching. I, don't, I, don't, I hate that word life coaching. I'm a fucking, I'm still alive, but uh, I get back to this, guys. $200 a day, guys. Supplement your income. You think you can make $200 a day? Damn right you can make $200 a day. It's not hard to make $200. I can make $200 fucking on my mobile walking, taking a dump, guys. The problem is when you make 200, you want 400. When you make 400, you want 1,000. When you have 4,000, you're risking it all to make 10,000. And that's what, that's what the problem is. You have no process. So how do you stop yourself from being greedy? That's the, that is the bottom line. We can all make money. How do you stop yourself from being greedy? That, that is the million dollar fucking question, guys. Literally the million dollar question. If you just make $200 supplemental income, that is life changing money. Okay? And that's why I'm talking about routine. Okay? If you get in the habit of taking money out every week or stopping at a certain time, zombie hours, following the rules, if you keep do building these habits, habits are routine, it becomes instinctual. You will need to start thinking more. But the moment you start to think all this stuff, you deviate from your routine. Okay? And when you deviate, you're screwed. This is why humans need humans. Okay? So I'll give you an example. How do you stop yourself from losing money? By having hard stops. But how do you even put a hard stop on? I don't want to put a hard stop on. No one wants to put a hard stop on. You need to be forced to do that. That's where you have to max daily loss at the broker level auto auto liquidation. That's a, a, a minimum. I'm not going to fucking... Man, I'm not going to talk about these idiots that call it training wheels. These idiots that call it training wheels have lost $10 million. This one idiot. I have fucking tweets that he says is a training wheel. I'm fucking just laughing my fucking ass off. This fucking idiot. Now, he went from uh, 20,000 days being a scratch day. Uh, oh, it's, I, I barely made money today. He made 20 grand. He's gonna call it because he's a cocky motherfucker, right? I don't use hard stops. Um, so now he's so happy making 2000 bucks a day. Thank God he still has money to make $2,000 a day, but I'm not bashing him. I'm just bashing the mentality of, of people thinking that they can make money for the rest of their lives in insane, insane numbers. It's, it's not realistic, guys. It, 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 when, when, it, this is not a salary paid job, right, guys? So it's feast or famine. When things are good, you need to save your fucking money, guys. And so karma hits all that, okay? So let me, let me bring someone on. It's, I miss bringing someone on so you can ask a question. So raise your hand if you want to get on. You can ask me anything you want. Life coaching, trading stocks, talking about girls, doing drugs, whatever you want to talk about. Raise your hand. I think I'm, I'm going to start to uh, change the format of uh, our Tuesdays because Docs is getting fucking boring for me, man. Really, Docs is getting so fucking boring. It's the same routine for me every day. You can check out my Twitter to see that, guys. But risk management is not training wheels, okay? There's ways to stop you from being in a, a, a complete blow-up idiot, okay? I've been there, guys. It's either through technology Force yourself to have a max daily loss at the broker level auto liquidation. Okay, set it to one or two days max so you never give back most and they will lock you out. Number two is to get a trading accountability buddy, a tab, join a community like MIC. He's gonna, so you run your trades by the, you know, you have an accountability buddy to track you. It's like your wife is your trading wife. Are you doing stupid shit? But even a trade, so your body has a max daily loss. You cannot drink until you die. <laughs> you know, me, I can't. Well, I drink until I pass out or I throw up, right? Yeah. That is my auto-liquidation. <laughs> That's literally auto-liquid. Liquidation. When I drink too much, I throw up and you pass out. That's your body of having a hard stop, right, guys? So if your body can do it, you can do it trading too. So let me bring someone on. Let me see. Um, here, I saw a hand here. This is a brand new person I've never seen. Okay. How do I add? Okay. How do, how do I about about it um i can't i can't bring you on you raise your hand someone else raise your hand and see if it, it worked um so weird how, how do how do i how do i get people to uh to join i can't see anybody it says go live okay some people i can see some don't i think you might have to be on your phone i think
All right, guys, raise your hand. Who wants to come on? I'm, I'm trying to get someone to come on because uh, this is going to be a new format. Uh, this is the first one of the format, so raise your hand. Oh, shit, my shit's finally coming in. Let me, uh, let me put some stuff out, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on, sorry. Raise your hand. Okay, here we go. I'm going to bring out someone I've never seen before. What's cool? Uh, Trader Rip. Did it work? Did it work? Let me put on someone else. Um, Trader Infinite. Trade Infinite. Trans Infinite. Trans Infinite, what up? Is this Mr. Trans Infinite? I'm from California. Hey, what's, up? what's your name, buddy? Where are you and from? I miss, I miss bringing people on, man. Roger. Oh, wow, man. That's pretty cool. Oh, show us what you're playing. <laughs> what's your name, sir? I'm in Roger SoCal that. between LA where, where and are you San Diego. It's a little town called Temecula. It's like a wine country. <laughs> Yeah, everyone come. Oh, uh, I know where that is, man. That's a great place. Exactly. Everybody comes out here to drink. A little drunken place. And, a little uh, nice drunken area. You know, I ain't about. I ain't really about that. You know, but I, I'd rather smoke. You know, but uh, obviously, yeah, obviously something, yeah, it something looks else, like your right? Your swimming picture there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so show us what you got there and tell us uh, what's bro, going on. Bro, like did you find I was my just a. Like going artist, through the lives, I seen you on here. I was like, "Damn, look at this guy's screens! You got like a thousand screens on here." <laughs> yeah, yeah, just random, just random, bro. I was just oh, scrolling so through just a the lives, and then you popped on on because you're you're on that uh, suggested where they suggest you to to um, when a live ends, it suggests different lives, and yours oh, was cool. on it. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are day traders, brother. Ooh. Roger. We, are, we day trade for a living. So you see all my screens. I am, I'm here teaching, educating people how to trade, how to uh, show us what your picture is, man. You ever, have you ever traded? Right. Have you ever thought about trading? Have you ever thought about, you, said, you don't have to. This is not, this is not teaching people a day trade. This is basically telling people how to to become a right. successful as right. whatever it is. And it comes down to Yes, routine. and I'm, Even I'm actually artist, trying to right? get better at routines you know that's one of the things that i'm focusing more on and it's it's starting with like you know doing push-ups you know doing jumping jacks you know doing little things like that you know just like every day i'm doing just a little bit for my health you know choosing the right things to eat you know get my body right Show us uh, your art. As an show artist. Show us your art and tell us your routine as an artist. Because we don't really know what you do. Yeah, so I want to give an example to the world. Like, you know, it, it could be an artist. It could be uh, a, a, right. a, whatever it well, is. With right? It doesn't art, have to be day trading. It doesn't have to I be work with a, I have a Native American friend who I do artwork with. And so the routine as far as the art, because this is just one facet of what I do. I have other things I do, like... Uh, I sell gems and uh, cacti and things like that. And um, I mean, it, it goes down to going online and mingling with different artists, mingling with different people that are into art. As far as the, the crystal and gem realm, um, the community, I go on lives with them and do um, sell gems online and things like that. 
So let uh, let me give you a shout out. Uh, tell are your art for sale? Where are you from? Why don't you show us something so that whoever is interested can just uh, follow you, man? What's your IG? As a, yeah, definitely. Uh, show us something so that definitely. you know. I just want to say hello. Um, and give you a shout. And I appreciate you. Amazing, you know, bro. starting something like this where you know you can just ask anybody to go on and then show a little bit of their life. Yeah, I love this, man. I think I'm going to start doing this weekly that way. I, I know, and that's this. what's fun. Like, so yesterday, I was uh, hanging, hanging out with some Japanese world, people. And that's what we're all about, guys. Yeah, 3 in the morning out here, it was like uh, like 8.30 out there. And I was like, damn, like, they were loving it. They were loving it. They're like, you know, send, sending me. <laughs> yeah, what? What are they on? Yeah. That's what, that's what they're on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be needing some extra later on. <laughs> but uh, Roger, Roger, I, I thank you for coming on, brother. Thank you so Appreciate much, bro. You, Thanks man. for having me on. Keep killing it in this art. It looks fucking amazing, bro. Hey, thanks, Roger. All right, man. Well, let's bring another person on. Let's bring one more person on. Uh, preferably someone in the training community. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, we, we reached this wide of an audience to get uh, an artist, which is pretty cool, Roger. Appreciate you, man. Um, someone want to raise their hands, and then we'll next week we'll we'll do it again, man. It's be very this is fun. It's been a long time since I've done this. That was dope, David. <laughs> Literally, he, I want some dope too. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was really dope. I love it, man. Fuck, I wish I was fucking. I was on what he was on. Let me. Uh, okay. Julio, is this Julio? Julio, going live with Julio. Bettencourt, is that it? I can't see my my eyesight's really bad. Hello, uh, my, my friend. Julio Tell us who you are, what your I'm name, Brazilian. where you're from, all that good stuff. I've lived here in Atlanta for seven years right now. Oh. I'm from Brazil. Uh, where Atlanta, are you from? Georgia. Where yeah. are you living again? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, you're yeah, in Georgia. Yeah, yeah, we try. Brazil, man, uh, you have to kick an ass in the World I Cup. I saw you like, for <laughs> uh, so many years. Always. I joined MIC uh, for a time ago. I saw all the videos and everything. And uh, by my face, you'll see that I, I'm an old guy. I'm 51 years old. And uh, yeah. And, uh, Yo, you're, I'm you're a baby, struggling. bro. You're a baby. You're about. I, you know, when I was... saw that you are uh, on my vesting club live. I, I, I just joined to, to see you talking because you, you, you talk a lot of stuff that uh, helps me a lot. And uh, I'm gonna be very sincere. I, I, I was like uh, a little bit depressed um, some time ago because I try to make a living for that. Because let, let me show you what I do. Can you see this kitchen? Yeah, yeah. I'm a painter. Uh, you can see that. Oh, it's nice. Um, I'm a painter. And uh, I'm 51 years old. And then w what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to, to make a living with something that actually can give me a way to live without to work on my body. Because I'm, I'm become old. I'm become old. And... and and uh, when I started trading, I saw a lot of people from uh, my family, like they are, they are gossiping uh, 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 about me trying. Uh, they're bullying me because, hey, you're, you're not gonna, never going to make this because you are, you are old and stuff like that. But uh, I'm, I'm really like struggling to to see if I, if I can make it, and I really want. But the thing is, when you try to make the things uh, alone, I, I'm, I'm very, it was very hard when I was in, at my seat to try to find a tab. I don't know, because I think people, I, I'm from Brazil, uh, then I, I don't speak English too well. And I tried to find a, a, a tab, but I couldn't find no one. And this lifestyle is very hard because if you, uh, you like uh, I, I was looking, you tell that uh, people get anxiety when they, they start, to, start to trade. 
and I got that a lot, a lot, a lot. I was, uh, I was trying to, uh, I was uh, uh, short uh, a trade, but um, base. I do what what you you normally do. That that is more comfortable for me. I don't do long long uh, uh, trades because for me uh, then that comes the anxiety. But I try a lot uh, uh, to try to find someone that could guide me like that, someone that I could talk, I could actually uh, be with the, the, this person like in a video or something like that. And unfortunately until now I, 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 I couldn't find it. And, and that's why I, I stopped a little while to trade because got me uh, really depressed because I could like refine everything that uh, I had. I tried to see the videos and, 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 and everything but um, I don't know, man, really what could actually. Let, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me be honest with you. Okay. This is the brutal honest. It has nothing to do with trading, whatever. So um, this, this is a normal thing. Don't, don't feel yourself as anything different. This is, you are the majority of the people. Okay. And that's because I tell you something in order for you to trade well, your life has to be in order because if your life, your personal life is in chaos, so will your trading. That's the anxiety part. So my advice to you is this. I don't know anything about you. This is the advice I would give to anybody, right? Because I see what you're doing and based upon what I see. So what happens, yeah. everybody has a day job. Everybody has what they've been doing for a long time. So you've been doing this for a long time. You're the master of what you're doing all this stuff. And now you want to switch. But in my opinion, you don't just throw away everything that you've done up until now what you need to do is find a way to to have what you're doing in your day job set it up so that you can have time and and freedom to start learning to trade otherwise if you just stop working you're going to be very yep. stressed because there's no money you have to pay the rent the bills all this so this is my advice to everybody out there guys everybody out there i'll give you an example who you why don't you find a men, uh, someone to mentor in your craft, yeah. like a, like an assistant? I'm just making this up, right? And so, if you have an assistant, you teach that assistant. That assistant can now help you work, which frees up time that you can learn to trade. You know, um, and now maybe that person that you teach is going to start doing the jobs for you. Now you have two employees, three employees. Those are the things that you do. That's what I did. You know, my goal is not to make the most money anywhere. My goal is to make yeah. enough, but have enough time to do what I really want to do. You may make less, but you have time so that you can change your career. I'll give you an example. I used to be an engineer. and I was a software guy. I was very busy. I had a lot of programming to do all that stuff. How do I learn to day trade? What I did was I took a mm -hmm. job that may have paid less, but gave me more time. So same thing, you know, and then I, I taught other people to do my job for me. So that freed up more time for me. You know, I had assistants or whatever it may be. And so soon, maybe you can have a painting no, company yeah, I, instead of you being I, the I, only I, person. I have a, now you a have an assistant. Uh, There's a I, lot of... Uh, let me show you. This is the guy that worked with me. Okay. Uh, I have a cabinet painting company. And uh, uh, my only struggle, uh, struggle right now is oh, cool. to find a tab that actually can help me uh, because I, I, I can make time to, to study that definitely. Hey, hey, Edson, are you here? We have a, we have some great guys in Brazil, actually. Uh, Edson. Uh, and also we, we have a, we have a moderator too. Anybody, anybody from Brazil, raise your hand. Uh, I, want uh, to be I don't know when you joined. Uh, like are you told, back I in, in the MIC? MIC we, we have a, I want to be back. Uh, to MIC, I'm gonna do that, and uh, uh, my my struggle is, is is to find somebody to to help me to talk with. I, I would do this, man. We we have a Black Friday special. You just join for the month. It's only like 198 bucks. We don't have to join for a year. Join for one month. Okay. You know, go go to our uh, Black Friday page and decide for the month, okay. and then okay. I will help you find a tap. I guarantee I'll find you a tap. Okay. There's there's a bunch of Brazilians that are great in MIC, and that you know it's right up your alley. And there's also a bunch of people from Atlanta too. 
So, yeah, my word, man. You know my Instagram. Just DM me. Okay? No, no, Going no. For that 198 bucks one month. If you don't like it, I'll give you back your money. <laughs> it's only 198 dollars, right? And I, I will help you find a tab. Yeah. I love you talking about the tab because you need someone like that to work with because humans need to learn from other humans. And I, I, I'm telling you, man, uh, the way I became successful because I always had someone like uh, to work with me because it's a very lonely yeah. existence. Even when you're painting alone, you know, you have a, someone to talk to. You're uh -huh. eating alone, living alone, especially trading alone. So, so do that. Send me a DM. I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna assign. I'm gonna have because okay. Edson is there. There's a bunch of people that are Brazilians that would love to work with you, man. So I appreciate you coming on and and this is a. Uh, uh dude we all uh i, think I don't know when, what was the last time you joined how is it a couple of years ago or we've changed a lot since then so steven is now mm -hmm. part of the discipline workshop here traveled guy there we go traveled guy so let me let me assign uh you to okay to steven okay so send me a dm i will have steven personally reach out to you mm -hmm. and he, he would do it this is great he started what's called the discipline workshop Okay, and so he's. This is the, we we have a whole new different way of educating now, you know. It's a very it's like a, a classroom curriculum as well. So thank you, Nancy, uh, for for doing this uh, along with uh, everybody else, moderating everybody helping. So send me a DM. I, this I want to end on this good note, man. I thank you. So anybody out there, guys, this is a very classic case. Okay, everybody needs a different thing to help them start it. So you need uh -huh. a tab. I need a tab. Thank God, I have Alex. I have everybody else. This is my tab, right? And so I will assign you guys one. So anybody out there, guys, if you want to join MIC, it's not too late. We have that Black Friday sale okay. going on. Join Thanks. us a month, man. We will, I will help you find a tab. Okay, that's my that's my promise to you. So send me a DM, guys. I'm gonna end it with this very good note. You know, we're gonna make it happen, guys. Humans gonna help each other. Humans. You know, there's a uh, month by month. There's no commitment. It's only 198 bucks. Thank you. I what, appreciate whatever, it. What better way to meet people around Thank the world? You. All right. So, so everybody send me a DM, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye I'll bye. see you guys later. And thank you for coming on, my friend. Good luck with your painting. It looks beautiful. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. All right. Bye-bye. All right, guys. I'm going to end it here. Send me a send me a DM, guys, if you guys want to look for a tap, guys. This is this has been this has been great. Thank you guys. Happy